Welcome, church. Thank you for coming together to partake in communion as the one body in Christ. And tonight is especially important on Monday, Thursday, on Holy Thursday, on the Passover, when Jesus Christ in the upper room with his disciples dined with them. And tonight is a wonderful reminder of us that God is the God of distance and of time. We partake with one another wherever we are gathered, and we partake with Christ. We partake with the disciples because there is no barrier for God that is too large. And today is especially um, as, as wonderful as we continue to celebrate this Passover, as we continue to look at what our communion hope truly is. And I know this is a little bit different than what you're used to, so if you haven't already, I ask you to grab your elements, and whether you actually have bread or whether you actually have grape juice, feel free to take whatever you, you need. If you have crackers at your house, if you have water, if you have Gatorade, if you have cookies, whatever it is, we can still partake together. We can still continue to symbolize what Christ has done for us on the cross, and especially as we gather on this holy week. And I'm reminded of Passover, and I'm reminded of the Israelites and the ten plagues that God sent upon the Egyptians. And I'm sure we can feel very familiar to that as well. And, and the last plague, the plague of death, passed over the Israelites. Why? Because the blood of lamb that was upon their doorposts. And tonight, wherever you are, we partake in that very same blood of the Lamb, and He passes over us. And there is no sin, there is no plague, there is no darkness, there is nothing that Christ cannot overcome. And we come together and we celebrate that. So as we begin to prepare our hearts for communion, as we prepare our hearts for what God is doing and working right now, I'm going to invite you to a time of just meditation and we actually have a piece prepared for Misty that I think we're all going to enjoy as well. So if you would just take this time to pray, to examine your heart, to prepare yourself, and to enter into worship. <laughs> Lord, but it's through your brokenness. God, you are continuing to work in our midst. God, you are continuously present, and we just thank you that the church has never been about the building, Lord. The church has been about people, and it's been about people praising you, Lord, and no matter where we are, no matter what we're feeling right now, we can just stop and praise you and give you all the glory, Lord, that you deserve. And Lord, we lift up our hands to you the author and perfecter of our life, of our faith, Lord, we know 
that we can continue to find that wholeness, Lord, in the midst of brokenness, in the midst of anguish, we can find peace. God, sometimes there are storms in our life that you come, and sometimes there are storms that you lead us through. But regardless, we know that we are there with you. God, you call us together not to just partake with one another, but to partake with you. And we know that as we move forward, God, that we are just partaking in your love, in your mercy, and in your grace. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. So our scripture that I wanted to, to read for us today is from 1 Corinthians 11, verses 23 to 30. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, in the night in which he was betrayed, took the bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in so doing, he is to eat the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this number, many among you are weak, and a number of you are asleep. And even though we are not physically together, we still have that unity through Christ. He is still calling us to partake together. And he gives us the control, the perfection, the peace, not through our situations, but through him. Our greatest sense of control is when we completely give our control to God. And that is why we celebrate in brokenness, because it's through brokenness that we have wholeness. It's through the ashes that we have beauty. And it's through Christ's tribulation that we have peace. And I was thinking of what I wanted to share for us on communion. And one thing I was thinking of is that Christ did not suffer just for us. He suffered as us. He suffered as humanity did as well. Jesus enters into our heartbreak. He enters into our suffering as a human, as flesh himself. And this may be a tough week for the churches, for communities, for you, here we are celebrating Holy Week without coming into the church. But we don't need to come into the church to celebrate Easter. We just need to enter into Christ. And that is what he is inviting us to do now and this evening. This church may be empty, but its people are full. And it's because of what Christ has done for us. And so now we're going to partake in the elements. And as you... Now, in the upper room, as Jesus was dining with his disciples, he took the bread and he broke it. And he said, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And on the same night of his betrayal, our Lord Jesus Christ, he took the cup, the Passover, the, the Passover lamb's blood. He took the cup and said, this is my blood, the new covenant. Through this, you have the forgiveness of sin. The cup of suffering is the high price of our salvation. So now if you have the bread in front of you, I just invite you to come and partake. Partake in Christ's brokenness, knowing that we have wholeness. And in the same way, we have the cup in front of us. His blood poured out for us. The lamb shed so that he passes over our sins, our iniquities. Let us celebrate through him. And as we close, we are reminded that is through Christ that we have our salvation. We know that God's presence extends past these four walls of this very church that I am in. And his presence extends into your living rooms, into your dining rooms, into your, your kitchens, your bedrooms, wherever you are. God's presence is there. And he is still continuing with us with this church. We're still continuing to able to do ministry. Things may look different, but our God 
still the same. And so this Easter, we continue to celebrate that resurrection hope that we have through Jesus Christ, that as we partake in the broken body and the shed blood, we know that we look ahead towards Easter Sunday and knowing that we have that hope through Christ. And if you would just join me in a closing prayer. Father God, as we partake communion as the body of Christ, Lord, whether we're watching this video right at 6 o'clock, whether we're watching this video next week or next month, Lord, we know that you are the God of all. You are the God of time and of space. And you continue to celebrate our unity, Lord. We just continue to come together to praise you, to glorify you, to lift our voices to you. God, continue to hear us, continue to remember us, Lord, and may we continue to look towards you. Lord, you are the resurrection. Lord, you are the life. And when we partake in you, Lord, we have that very same resurrection. We have that very same life. We have your resurrection power, Lord, in ourselves. And I pray that tonight we can just take some time, just some somber reflection, Lord, and remember the price that you paid for the forgiveness of our sins, Lord, for the expression of of your love and that shared glory, Lord, that we now partake with you because of your resurrection, because of your power, because that you have overcome. And we pray all of this in your great and wonderful name. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for coming together and partaking in communion. Take care, be safe, and God bless.